morning. Been a long time. And what? I'm in the start of making a stove for a little shack. Waste fishing shack, camper, cookhouse. I had two 20 pound propane tanks. That one there is rusty, but he's still solid. I took the valves off of it. I drained it. Fell with water, salty water, hot water. I don't know how many times. But it was more than two or three. Probably up around seven or eight. Then I found a small one. I did the same thing with this. I could never get the smell out of it. People said two or three times and you get the smell. I was always getting that smell. I was scared to cut it. But then someone said fill it with water. And you could cut it then without any danger. I did it but I was a bit skeptic of it. But I can still smell that propane smell I guess. Anyway, that's the start of her. I got the door hole cut. I got to square that up when I get this welded here. And if you'll be back now in a few days, he'll do all the welding for me. He's the one with the great big smile. This is a piece of a tailpipe from a truck. I gotta figure this out now. I'm going to put that right there, for the start of the stove pipe. The piece that I cut off of here, off of this tank, I'm going to cut it in two. And that will be the legs. Anyway folks, I'll show you along the way. I got the door, everything is ready, the stands is ready, I'm just putting the door around the bolt, put another bolt for and handle, and I think that would work just fine. Now I'll already start welding, and then I'll do, I'll do the grinding on the legs. At the two legs on each side of the tank there, but they're going to go the other way. It's going to rise the tank or the stove off the floor about the two and a half inches or so. I'll clean that up before I put it in to make it easier to for the grinding part and to clean it up. I'll do the welding and grind it all up. I'll show you what it looks like then, and then I'll paint it. Folks, I got the stove all welded up. I'm going to do a burn into it before I um, cleans all the dirt off of it and do the paint painting on it. The bottom part is uh, something that comes in the liquid stove when you buy it. It's almost, I believe, is in every one. So I'm going to use that for the bottom for the floor. And I use the back piece for the shield, heat shield behind. Every stove that we have, we has one in there, but never did use it. I don't know what it's for. I guess other people do, but not me. Door this slides up. And back down. I think it's going to work great. Anyway, when I get here lighted, I'll show you.
Beautiful fair around there from a uh, striker from Nathan 4071. First time I've used it, Nathan. I obviously said it was too nice to use, but. I think this is going to work great. I can feel a little. You feel the heat coming there already. Sure, we're going to get some nice sound effects from this. guys I got her done do another burn into her a little bit of steam that sees there got heavy rain here so I guess it's all the can down the pipe there's a train stock work pipe I got there I did a cat in here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I did flange. Yeah. I did my own cat. Just cut it a piece six inches, drilled a hole in the middle, cut from the edge up to the center, and just fold it. When you fold it, it takes a cone shape. So now I do have to put something around that little. That's where I'm getting a little bit of water down through in my stove. Well, guys, this was a really fun project. I don't have many hours of on with this. Should be using gloves for this, I guess. I guess I'm gonna have to get some wood on the go now. Come in many of fires in here. Gotta christen this too. I guess christen it with a, a barbecue or fish fry up or whatever. Quite comfortable in here. Really wet outside. This could even work as a little moose hunting shack. Sit it up in the cutover. Get your fire going. I don't believe all the heat is coming from there now. Alright anyway, folks, I will take you guys along when I go out on outings. Maybe for a cook up, fishing trip. 
could even be a light overnighter. Okay, folks, back to you later.